uh, just just kind of an observation from someone who's worked previously in a large company, and much of the much of the dynamics around commercial open source are very similar, whether government or large organizations. And I guess one of the comments I have is that the it kind of follows from you know technically you lump them together. But from a procurement organization or a law department, the problem is the pre-existing structures, it just doesn't fit. And the rules that you expect around indemnification and stuff, and, and that to me is often the real conundrum, both procurement professionals and lawyers. This is another category from in their world, and it just doesn't fit. Because if you look at, I mean, you know, I sometimes joke within my previous uh, company that from a lawyer's point of view, you can see open source software as the worst of all worlds because you get no, none of the advantages you get under a commercial agreement and none of the advantages you get from developing it in your own controlled environment. So, so I guess one of the questions is, like, you know, I think that from a government point of view, you need, there's a lot of education that's needed in procurement organizations and law departments. And what are some ideas to move that forward? I mean, look at Brazil. I look at Brazil, what they've been able to do, um, look at some other progressive countries. What can we do in Canada to really advance the kind of open, you know, as a taxpayer, among other things, what could we do in Canada to, like, advance the agenda with those, those groups? Well, t two things I'd like to say. Uh, one, uh, you, you mentioned as a taxpayer. Uh, I, I think government of Canada, uh, or any government, actually, uh, has to look at, at being fairly neutral in the sense that uh, what the citizens expect is not that government is pushing for open source, is that government is pushing for value for their right. money. Right. Yeah. Right. If it happens to be that in some situations open source provides that better value, then yes, we should go in that direction and vice versa. Agreed. So, so, so that's for, 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 for that side. Uh, and, oh man, now I forgot the... Uh, I, want to, I want to say one thing you said earlier, which is the point you're making about lawyers and procurement folks is not unique to government. Yeah. It's yeah. true just generally. Yeah, yes. Because you made that point earlier. I think it's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. And, and for what, what we're doing in, in the government of Canada for that is that, it, uh, you know, if, you, if you look internally, uh, scientific departments will generally, I don't want to... You know, because it's not a it's not a rule it's <laughs> kind of statistically uh, we'll have uh, more use of open source and their uh, acquisition teams or their legal teams will have a better understanding because typically scientific communities have been using uh, mm. open source and mission critical applications for a very long time yep. uh, as opposed to uh, organizations that are non-scientific that have been using more of the, the commercial business type software uh, so uh, we have an open source committee where uh, one of the mandates of that committee is information dissemination, sharing information, uh, and uh, one thing that uh, is a recent uh, improvement, I could say, is more participation from non-IT communities in there, like mm -hmm. acquisition people and uh, a legal uh, uh, area. Yeah, one well, hopefully you've got beyond this, but one of the discussions I had a few years ago was talking to lawyers in a government, I won't tell you what level, but they were basically saying, you know, we're monitoring open source issues, but we don't think that there's really any demand in our client base for us to be doing anything. And then I would <laughs> talk to the people who are doing things and said, we, we know we need to work with the lawyers but we don't think that they know anything. <laughs> 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 so, let me, let me so give it sounds like you're getting the